FX better health now. They can happen at almost any time of year. Allergies, mm -hmm. of course, and they are the worst if you're an allergy sufferer. They're so terrible. Joining us now is Margo Stevenson from the Allergy and Immunology Associates of New England to tell us more about the most frequent kind of allergies this season. We're in the middle of summer, so what are people coming in with complaints about? Right, so we're in transition right now, so we're moving from the grasses into the weeds. Mm. So the grasses <laughs> We're are, in the weeds. Yeah, we're yeah. in the weeds. We're moving <laughs> into the weeds. So the grasses that we look at are usually like timothy grass and orchard grass, and then we're moving into the weed season, so everybody knows about ragweed mm -hmm. and goldenrod and mugwort. So the big thing that I like to talk to patients about is to identify the weeds correctly. So a lot of people think that the yellow long one on the side of the highway, that that's... Goldenrod. Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. At least we think it is. Yeah. Am I right? So that is goldenrod. Oh, you got it. Yeah, but a lot of people think it's ragweed. Hmm. Ah. So the okay. ragweed is the flatter, leafier one with kind of a pale green cone. And the, the goldenrod is the yellow one. I was thinking yep. the same for grass. I would have no idea what <laughs> grass and is Mugwort, what. that sounds like something out of Harry Potter. Yeah. Yeah. What, <laughs> what is a, what's mugwort. a mugwort? It's a, it's a flatter, more broad um, weed, but yeah, not a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. It'll feel like one, yeah. I'm sure. How important is it then to identify what you are allergic to and how would you? I've always assumed I'm allergic to goldenrod but I honestly don't know right. I just tell people that because I start sneezing in the fall right yes. so yeah I think that's actually you identified the most important first step in treatment and that's to find out what you're allergic to so we do two things in the office so we can do skin prick testing where we actually mm -hmm. look at um, a bunch of different weeds and grasses and molds fuzzy animals like cats and dogs and we we prick your back and we see in 15 minutes if you are positive to those if you have a reaction. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and they'll get red and itchy like a bug bite. And then the other way is for some patients that we can't do the skin testing on for a variety of different medications, we can actually check your blood. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of different treatment for the specific yes. weeds that are coming out? So there are some, um, there's a newer medication that targets just ragweed, and that would actually be a pill that you take that dissolves under your mouth for people that just have a ragweed allergy. Mm. And we also have our allergen immunotherapy, or what people refer to as, as allergy shots that you can get for the weeds as right. well. So we would do a specialized mix for you. That with the shots, is it is it forever, or don't you go through a certain amount of time with the shots and eventually it lessens right. your allergic reaction? Yeah, great question. So people are typically on for about three to five years, mm. and then you can trial off the shots mm. and see how you do. And a lot of people do well and have a lifelong protection. And quickly, what can people do to prevent these allergies, aside from maybe the treatment? Yeah, so that's that's the hard part. Never go the, outside. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part with <laughs> the weeds and the grasses. So might be popular at home, but keeping the lawn nice and short for the grass, because mm. it's the long part that, right. that pollinates there. And then for the ragweed, it's really just um, identifying the days that the pollen counts are higher. So that would be the hotter, warmer days, where okay. the wind is kind of moving around and then maybe those are the days that you choose to you know stay inside good to know great advice mm -hmm. yeah. dr stevenson good to see you yeah thank you so much thank you